Now, let us understand how to interact with the MySQL database using JDBC. In order to connect, we require the Java driver for MySQL, which can be freely downloaded from http colon slash slash dev.mysql.com slash downloads. On the screen, click on the MySQL connector section and look for connector slash j. Click on that link and then click on download of MySQL connector java 5.1.38.zip. You can get the most recent version of connector by j from this website. Copy the jar file to the clipboard. Now let me open the Eclipse and let us first paste the MySQL connector Java driver to the lips directory and right click on the driver and click on build path and then click on add to build path the same way what we have done for the Oracle database. We can observe the MySQL Java driver has been added to the reference and now let us right click on the MySQL driver and click on build path and then click on configure build path. We can observe the MySQL Java driver has been added to the path. Once the MySQL driver has been referenced, now let me add a class file. The name for the class I provide as test MySQL connection and make sure generate main method checkboxes selected. In order to connect MySQL database, we require three string variables to maintain the value of username, password and the DB URL. So let me define the variables. Static string username equal to root. Static string password equal to root. Static string DB URL equal to. We need to provide the connection string in the format provided by the driver. That is, the MySQL driver requires a connection string that starts with JDBC in lower case, then MySQL also in lower case, separated with colons. After MySQL, there is a colon slash slash, then the DNS name or IP address of the host server. I am working with MySQL on my local system. So the address of my server is localhost. But if I were working with a remote server, I might have put in the IP address or the server's name. Finally, the last part of the string is the name of the database I am connecting to, that is world. Now within the main method, let us establish connection to the database. So let me type in connection and then press Ctrl plus spacebar. We can observe the definition of connection is present within java.sql. Select that so that it will automatically add the import statement in the code. Let me specify the variable name as count and assign a null value to the variable. In the next line, let me type in con equal to driver manager. Select java.sql.driver manager and then type in get connection and press control plus spacebar. We can see three overloaded methods for get connection. Let us select the third overloaded method where we need to provide the first parameter as db url which is the connection string and then followed by username and password. We can observe there is a warning is displayed. So let us click on the warning and this time instead of selecting add throws declaration let us select surround with try catch. Within the catch block, let me type in sys error and press control plus space bar and provide the parameter value as e. Within the try block, let us write sys out message to display as connected statement. And it is always advisable to close the objects which are open. So in finally block, let me write con.close method. We can observe a warning is displayed. So let me click on the warning and click on throws SQL. Now let us execute the application. We can observe the statement 